Hey everybody, I'm Mike Wendland and I've got stuff, stuff for my RV. I get people sending me stuff to test out for the RV all the time. Now they want me to do a video on it. I say, okay, if I think it has the potential of being something that my viewers will like, I'll do a video on it. But I'll also say whether it's a hit or whether it's a miss. Okay, the first thing, a um, company named SolarGuard sent me this. This is just that. It's kind of a solar guard, you know, this reflective stuff here. You put it on the front of the windshield of the RV. It keeps the sun out. Now, this one's a little different because it goes on the outside of the windshield. So we'll try that out and see how that works. Um, the other thing I got is uh, something from a company called uh, the Larry Alert. And this is what it is. It's actually kind of like a little security system. There's a camera there and there's a siren that'll sound. And what you do is you use this little, this little suction cup right here. And you put it on your RV and uh, you can secure it with a lock with this, this, uh, this kind of like this little steel cable and it will tell you if you have an intruder around the RV. It's kind of um, it's kind of neat. We'll see, and it all works. You can capture pictures with your smartphone. So we'll see how that works in a bit too. And the other thing uh, is this. I actually bought this unit. This is called the MT50. And uh, what it is is it's a monitor that uh, shows you how well your solar panels are working with the solar charger and how much uh, juice it's sending into your batteries. So we'll install this as well. So let's start with that solar shield. All right, now the people who sent me this solar shield sent me two of them. One is supposed to be small and one is supposed to be large, it said for like vans. Well, this is a class B camper van, the sprinter van. So obviously the small will leave down on the ground. But I have my doubts about this. This is what it looks like. And you're supposed to wrap this around the mirrors. So let's, let's give it a try and see if it works. Um, I'm doubtful. But all right, we'll put this around the mirror. That kind of goes around real simple there. And then uh, this is the other end of the solar guard. And you can see, well, it kind of, it's almost around. Let's see. There we go. Huh. Not looking too good. Not looking too good. So, that's all it covers. It, it doesn't cover the sides. Can you see it up there in the sides? And uh, it's probably four or five inches at the top it doesn't cover. And then kind of uh, you know, a triangular shape there on the side. So um, if uh, that's something you're going to get, don't. At least if you're going to use it for the Class B camper van, a Sprinter. Maybe it would fit on the Chevy. I don't know. Maybe it would fit on the uh, Dodge Promaster. But it doesn't fit very well on the Sprinter, does it? Now there's the view inside. You can see it covers probably most of the windshield. but. A lot of sunlight can still get in through the sides. That's just not going to do the job, I don't think. All right, next up, the Larry Alert. Now, the idea of this is it's going to set up kind of a peripheral zone around your RV so that if you're away from it uh, and somebody approaches it or gets too close or starts to tamper with it, uh, it will take a photograph of what's going on and send it to you on your cell phone and it will also sound an audible alarm. So kind of a uh, uh, technology driven alarm system, sort of. Let's find out. We're gonna use this suction cup. There's a little steel cable because you wouldn't want to just have it sitting there because somebody could just rip it off, right? So the idea is that you would uh, put it through something like right here on the door hinge and then we will we'll mount it, always lick it. I know that's gross. And let's put it up right about here, okay? So we will 
uh, put our little, we're going to shut the door and we'll keep that little, that little uh, cable wrapped around it real tight so that uh, nobody can steal it. And uh, you got to turn it on, of course, it's a little on and off switch. And I'm going to turn it on right there and we're going to um, see what happens. Now it's all controlled through your smartphone and an app. And we'll show you how that works. All right, so this is the app. And the first thing you do is you turn the app on and it'll tell you it's not connected that you have to go to settings on your phone. So go to your phone. I'm happen to be using uh, an iPhone and uh, you can use it. Uh, it'll work with a, uh, Android as well. And you want to go to the Wi-Fi and then you'll see here Larry Alert. So connect to the, Larry Alert has its own little Wi-Fi network and you can see I'm now connected. So now we're going to go back to the app itself and uh, Larry Alert. Larry's connected and it's processing now. Now do we want the siren on? Well we'll keep it on for now. And uh, do we want to set it up for like just around a motorcycle or around a truck uh, or around a campsite? Uh, I'm going to put it around the campsite just like that, that little icon like that. And then there is tap here to arm it. Well, we're going to arm it and we'll see what happens. Larry is armed. Now, um, I should point out that we can go to uh, take a photograph. So let's take one photo and we'll see what's outside the RV right now. And there's the view that uh, is out there. Nothing around, nice and peaceful, right? So we're going to go back to Larry and we're going to uh, wait for something to happen. And uh, I don't know what'll happen. Maybe I can get Bo out there and see if Bo can trip it. Aha, somebody has approached and you can see it's now taking photographs. So at least that works. I'm inside the RV. I can certainly hear that. And uh, let's see who is there. And it looks to me like maybe some rain. I don't see anybody there. Do you? Nobody. Nobody. Huh. A raindrop set that off? There's no one there. Look at that. Passing through all those photographs. I'd say that's a little overly sensitive, don't you think? All right. All that said, there are some limitations and I think some pretty major limitations to Larry Alert. For one thing, you have to be really close by. You couldn't be uh, out for dinner or touring a museum and think it's going to take care of your RV or your campsite. It's not. You're too far away. You have to be within that limited Wi-Fi range of the Larry Alert device itself. And that range, from my own test, is not much more than uh, 100, 200 feet tops. So, um, that means if you're in your RV and it's the middle of the night, and thieves come by outside trying to pilfer your camp chairs or your cooler or whatever you happen to have outside, uh, it'll do a great job. It will sound that alarm when they get too close to the exterior of your vehicle and um, you're good to go. You'll hear that alarm. You'll even have photographs of them. But you got to keep the app on. It has to be on the smartphone and active. So that means you can't be using your smartphone for anything else. You can't be talking on the phone. You can't be surfing the net or doing email or watching Netflix on it. It's uh, got to be on and that app has to be there for you to get the alarm. And it's now arm, right? It's all set to go. Up here there's a little microphone icon. I don't know if you can see it in the resolution with the camera, but trust me it's there. If I push that, the app shuts down. Now, that's a feature that they advertise. Now i got to set it all up again. That's a feature that they advertise that you're supposed to be able to touch that microphone and it will go through the speaker out uh, at the RV. Somebody's coming up. I want to talk to them. I push the microphone and the app shuts down. A lot of good that is, huh? So, let's cut to the chase. Would I get the Larry Alert myself? No, I would not. The Larry Alert it's a miss. So there is the solar charger here in our RV 
and you know it's got some lights on and blinking lights and it's uh, charging obviously with some sun but I don't have any idea how much where it's going what its condition is and that is where this uh, this neat little device that is uh, called the MT50 comes in it really is just the monitor and uh, a little cord and you plug this into the solar con solar charger right there and then on the back of it there's a spot again for it to plug in and just like that welcome uh, there you go we can step through it it's going to show uh, to volts on my solar panel going directly into the battery and you can see it's uh, the system is all good it is charging and uh, that's pretty cool now I, I want to mount this thing and it has a little uh, box that will go up in the wall and we'll put this in and I'll show you what that's like after I install it. So the MT-50, as far as I'm concerned, it is a huge hit. So there you go, out of the three RV related products, only one was a hit. As we keep getting them, we'll keep testing them. If this has been helpful for you, please click like. Also leave us any comments or questions and please subscribe to our RV Lifestyle channel. I'm Mike Wendland. Thanks for watching.